video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get custom watch faces like this for your Galaxy Watch 6 Classic and your Galaxy Watch 6, as well as your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, or even your Galaxy Watch 4 Classic and Watch 3. I am not tech support. So the first thing you're gonna do is get the app that we're gonna need in order to load these watch faces onto our smartwatches. And that app is called Watchmaker. So if I were to go to the Play Store, you look up Watchmaker, as you guys can see, I already have it. So the next thing you're gonna do is get the Watchmaker license. You have to pay for this. I'm not sure exactly what this costs nowadays because I bought it years ago and it's still active. After you get that, onto your phone, you gotta go onto your watch and get the Watchmaker Companion app. So let me show you exactly how to do that. It's very simple. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is go onto your smartwatch and then you're gonna go to the Play Store. So go to the Google Play Store. And one of the cool thing is once you hit the search, the top search is watch faces. So you just tap on that and then you hit the search icon. After you do that, the second app that pops up, at least it has been for me consistently, is the Watchmaker Companion app. And as you guys can see, this is installed on all of my watches. So you have to install that. That allows the app to speak to the watch and send the watch faces that you're gonna to wanna to send. So that way you get a look like this, which just takes the Watch 6 Classic to the next level. Now let me show you where you're gonna get the watch faces from. There's a link down in the description below to this website right here. This is the website that I use to get all of my custom watch faces. And what I'm gonna do is, let me grab a watch face that I don't have from a brand that I haven't grabbed. So we got this Stoa watch face, right? Right here, boom, you get to see all of the images of what it's gonna look like. And then you gotta scroll down to the bottom of the post. That's where the download link is gonna be typically. Hit download, and then boom, after you select an account, and then they also gave me the option to open it with Watchmaker. So let me see, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna tap just once, cause it may not open. Let me see, next time, go to my watches. Okay, it didn't. So I wanna show you guys something cause I know a lot of people in my previous uh, video, hey, I'm having issues. So what you're gonna do is go to your files app. Give me a second. Okay, so as you guys can see in my downloads, that Laco watch face is right there, right? Now what I wanna do is go into my watch maker app. So when you go into the watch maker app, down here in the corner is where you're gonna see my watches. So you're gonna tap there, then you're gonna go to import watch, and then you guys can see the Laco watch face. But let me show you something. You see how these have like the little four arrows and this one doesn't, it's not going to work. So what I have to do is I have to go into my files In my files folder under downloads. I see that file. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to try this and then I'm going to rename it. All right. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit import watch and you guys can see it has those and I'm going to tap it and it's going to work. That is the workaround to some of the issues. I've seen some people saying that it's grayed out. You have to just rename it and then it will work. And then I'm gonna hit send. Now when you first send a watch face to your watch, it's gonna take a while. But after it loads onto there, anytime you switch to a watch face that's already been loaded, it's gonna load extremely quick. So let me show you guys an example of that. Uh, let me see, let me try to remember what watch face. I think I just had this one on, right? So if I send that, pretty much instant. All right, let's try to uh, load on this Fortis watch face really quick. Boom, it's gonna take a little second because I'm sending it for the first time, but once it's on there, it's on there. And hey, CJ, you using this on the Pixel, is that the only way it works? No. Let me whip out a Samsung device. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm not gonna do the whole download and all that. Uh, I'm just gonna go into my Watchmaker app. I'm gonna show you guys that I have a bunch of watch faces already. I'm gonna tap on this one and I'm gonna load it onto here. Boom, as you guys can see. Now, let's lead into watch bands. So a lot of people may be wondering, can I use my previous 20 millimeter bands that I already have, if you already have them? The answer is yes. I took this off of my Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. See, this is the new one-click band, and I put it on to here, and I was able to do that. So if you already have bands that are 20 millimeters, you're all set to go. Let me note this, though. It's not the easiest to put them on at first. And it was kind of like that on a Watch 4 Classic as well. These are very stiff, very narrow uh, areas. So you might have to finesse and get in there. It's not the easiest, I'm telling you guys. And this is the thing we're going with third party. They're not perfectly made for every model. And let's be real, all of those Amazon listings, they just updated their title to say Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. I'm giving that forewarning. I don't want someone getting in, getting frustrated with it. All oh, that watch band didn't work. They do work 
but they take some, you know, finessing and easing to make them work. So as you guys can see, all of my Galaxy watches, no matter what year, what model, all have these custom watch faces because this is what I do. I appreciate it. I've been doing it for years. And as you guys can see, it's consistently worked for me. And let me take off the 47 millimeter Watch 6 Classic. And let me show you guys this black one right here. This is the black 43 millimeter Watch 6 Classic. Let me go ahead and unlock that joint. You feel me? Boom. Bam. Just for uh, reference and clarity, I want to show you guys, like, if you get the ones that have the uh, Dropbox link. Okay, so let's say I go to this. Boom. There's going to be an ad. You close the ad. I know it's annoying. And then, okay, let's look at this. This is this Fortis watch face, right? I'm going to scroll down. I actually like the way that watch face looks. It looks pretty dope. Direct download. Is this a... Uh, okay, so boom. Dropbox pops up. You just hit continue on website. You hit the download. It's going to download, you see that, boom. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go to your files folder. Okay, rename, a couple of words. All right, boom, I rename that. Go into my watchmaker app. I'm going to hit import watch faces. That one's right there. I'm going to tap on it. It goes straight in. I'm going to send it off to the watch. And you guys are going to see the magic happen. It's that simple. So follow the directions. I tried to make this quick and easy for you guys. And as far as all the watch bands that I have used over the years, I'm going to have them all linked down in the description below. Different looks, different styles, different types. Let me show you this one right here. So this style right here is like the Milanese band. I love this style of uh, Milanese band. This is a really nice one. So if you like that Milanese band, you like to be able to have the ability to adjust. But what's nice about this one is you adjust it to where it needs to be and then you lock this part there. So every time you just hook in this right there and you're getting the perfect fit. It's not like with the magnet where you have to guess where you're putting it. And I obviously put this on wrong. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the classic. Find that sweet spot. Bam, once you get it locked in there, find the sweet spot. Boom. Yeah, it's very stiff in movement at this area. And that's what I'm talking about when I say, you know, with these third parties. I just hook this on, snap that closed, and boom, look at that. That looks so nice. So I just took my Watch 6 Classic Black Stainless Steel to the next level. They have this also available in silver, rose gold, gold, all of that. So you can get this style. It's from a company, I forgot what it's called. It's like, I don't know, I'll name it down there. I would just put Milanese band and then uh, you guys can click on it and grab it. Just get the 20 millimeter version because that's the size that these watches are, 20 millimeters. And then as you can see, it's kind of rough to get this off. This is what I'm talking about. This is, I'm forewarning you. I'm telling you guys now, third party watch bands are not the easiest fit. Look at the watch without nothing. Man, these things are a pain in the butt. This is why I say that all third party uh, brands need to adopt the one click system. If they can, I mean, it's probably proprietary to Samsung. Now this band fit perfectly. So at the end of the day, they're all are gonna work differently, but there's a ton of them on Amazon. So. I'll link a handful down below, check them out. As you guys can see, you can customize your watch, get the right feel, the right look, the right watch face to make you feel that much more swagful about your smartwatch purchase. So I love these. I'm gonna give you guys another look really quick. Boom, I love these. And they're very easy to change if you want. You just hit customize right here, slide over, and then tap back here, boom. Boom. All right, so this is the video that I promised you guys. You guys already know what to do. Obliterate that like button, smash the subscribe, and turn on the bell, and come back for more with the Smartwatch Guru. I still got reviews to do on all of these smartwatches. I gotta let you guys know about the battery. And just know, I've tested the battery in between the sizes. I'm not gonna tell you now, <laughs> but I will tell you in the review. Come back. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. Misunderstood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those it's understood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. And now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. It's understood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. It's understood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. And now I'm good.